What we saw from Josh Allen against the Patriots, what we saw from Josh Allen against the Chiefs, it was, and I, I can't stress this enough, it was some of, if not the best quarterback play we have ever seen. The thing of it is, however, we didn't see that all that much prior to that. Even us Bills fans couldn't believe what we were watching. Yes, we knew Allen, top four quarterback, no doubt about it. We've seen him pull off some incredible things. I don't think we saw that before. That, of course, is what has you so excited going into this season. I've said this multiple times throughout the offseason here. If Allen can channel that type of play even four to five times this coming season, you're still getting some of the greatest quarterback play you've ever seen for a quarter of the season. What Allen did in the playoffs put him on notice. Did you notice, not to say notice twice in a row there, but did you notice the second that Chiefs game ended, despite losing, it was Josh Allen, Josh Allen, Josh Allen, Josh Allen from everybody. That's when the talk started coming out about Josh Allen being better than Patrick Mahomes. We had no reason to think so, right? At least the vast majority of the outside world didn't. Obviously, plenty of Bills Mafia would be willing to risk their their reputation, their, uh, their their mental capacity, whatever you want to put in there on the fact that Allen was better than Mahomes. But you never really heard it from anybody outside of the Bills fan base. But then that game happened and people just realized that might have been the greatest game I've ever witnessed. That might have been the greatest quarterback battle I've ever witnessed. And then Josh Allen really started to ascend to the top of these lists. And it is what I think led him to be the MVP favorite going into this season. But as we look at last season, there were several games that were less than stellar. And I agree with anybody when it comes to talking about the fact that Mahomes had several of those games last year as well. Despite it being before the playoffs, we saw Rodgers snooze fest for him in the playoffs. You have to take these things into consideration. Had it been after the playoffs, is Rodgers all the way up on the list where he's at? Potentially just because of what he has already earned in the league. But I think if you were to go back and look at the playoff performances, there might be a, a, a vast differential in this list for maybe Aaron Rodgers, I think definitely for Josh Allen. But after those two playoff games, Allen was already an ascending superstar. I think we, we overlook sometimes how much that really meant for Josh Allen's pop culture type representation those two games both national games both playoff games with everything on the line and that's when he decided to play two of the best games we've ever seen in just those two games he skyrocketed on everybody's list and on everybody's radar so i think if you base it on the last regular season yeah you look at you look at the pittsburgh game not good you look at the colts game not good the jaguars game i won't even speak on it Yes, handful of games where Allen did not look like one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but every quarterback has that. What we didn't get in the regular season is flashes of two games in which we saw against the Chiefs and the Patriots. We saw bits and bops of it, of course, and at times you saw more than other games, but we had never saw this, the Patriots and Chiefs game where that play, that dominant, unbelievable, must-see quarterback play was dealt out by Allen from snap one to quadruple zeros on the scoreboard when the game ended. 